Okay, I'm going to show you how to take the perfect snapshot, meaning one that won't be resized if you want to use it in your video. So I already grabbed a background. So let's go and grab a character. Um, let's just grab her. I am not going to move her. I am not going to resize her yet. I'm going, even though I may want to move her on the screen. Let's put um, an action of, let's see what happy looks like. We could do happy. So I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, oh, I might want a snapshot of her right in this pose when her hands are clapping. So what I'm going to do is I am going to right click, take snapshot. Now what happens is it goes into your folder. So when you're in the folder, you're, it's going to be right here. When you drop it on, it's going to be the same exact size as the image underneath. Now, why would I want to do that? Let's say we cut the action and for some reason I want to freeze frame it. So I'm going to put it in between and then watch what happens. And she's the same exact size. So now what I can do, I want to move her. I can select all of them and I use command G, but you also can right click and group. I use command G. Now I can resize her. So say I want her to be close up like that. Now they both changed the same size at the same time. What happens, so let's look at, um, I'm going to hide this. Let's get our character again, and let me just show you what could happen if you resize before. So here I say, okay, I want her to be big in the corner. We can do the same action of being happy, and we're going to Take a screenshot right when her hands are together. It might be a little different than what I had before, but I'm going to right click, take snapshot. I'm going to bring her in, but look, now she's over here. So I'm going to select the animated one, cut it like I did the other one so that I can put the screen, um, the freeze frame in. But now I need to try to resize this to fit the other character. I'm not even gonna waste my time because I've done that a lot of times and it really doesn't work. I've done this, I've made it a little opaque so I can try to match the features and make sure that I'm matching it, but then that's off. That's just a really hard way to do it. If you have your character and take the screen, uh, the snapshot, then it's going to be the same size. So that's the trick that you want to do. Now, say you want to have more than just one character. Say you want to have another character or some asset that you want to have. Um, I'm going to move him right over next to her. What you can do is you can group whatever it is that you want to have the screenshot in this case, uh, the snapshot in this case, it would be the two characters. I'm going to group it, Command G, where you can right click and choose group. Then I'm going to right click, take a snapshot, and then you can see that it was the two characters that showed up instead of just the one or the character and some asset that you have, some other element. And there's your tricks.